A decade goes so fast. Within the last 10 years, technologies changed the way we bank, mostly connected to our phones. But by 2030, the everyday banking experience could be entirely virtual. By then, more than 2 billion people will have digital bank accounts on digital platforms and just 20% of so-called heritage financial services firms will have survived. Some banks will be completely virtual. Facilitated by open banking, fueled by data stored and shared on the cloud, and made faster and safer by blockchain technology. If you want, you'll be able to get the equivalent of a private banking service, as data aggregators cross-reference your spending habits with other parts of your online life. From your travel plans to your social media interactions, creating a unique profile for your bank to provide you with bespoke services. Look forward to an AI-powered virtual banking assistant, handling payments, investments and instant transfers at the command of your voice. As banks begin to get more personal, so will the ways we pay. In the future, cash is no longer key. Instead, paying with your phone or wearable will be the status quo, rendering physical cards unnecessary. 60% of financial organisations are expected to make wearables a common payment method. Physical shops will still exist, but the way you pay will change, with money changing hands virtually in real time. Cryptocurrencies may rival cash, with an estimated 200 million blockchain wallet users by the end of this decade. And many currencies could digitise and even decentralise, simplifying travel and trade. But none of this will happen if security isn't every bank's number one priority. Protection against cybercrimes and fraud will be powered by predictive analytics and artificial intelligence. Home to 350 specialists, manning state-of-the-art cyber defense tech, Santander's new global cyber security center shields customers 24-7. Pins and passwords will be a thing of the past. There'll be much tighter security thanks to instant biometric verification. Santander's rolling out biometric recognition for millions of customers, including voice recognition in Europe and Latin America and fingerprinting at ATMs in Brazil. The pace of technological advancement means making precise predictions for what we can really expect for the future of banking rather difficult but it's certain the service will be personalized, practical, platform-based, and predominantly online, as well as seamless, speedy, slick, and super safe.